you're going to want to watch this material composition comparison video all the way to the end for facts you probably didn't consider in instrument manufacturing. This curette is over 18 months old. She is now retired. This new LM instrument is fresh out of the box. I'm interested in material composition and instrument design, so I wanted to take a look at them under the microscope. Not all stainless steel instruments are created equally. For over 100 years, instruments have been manufactured in either 400 or 440 stainless steel. 440A is the most popular, generally a good alloy, fairly consistent with no major negatives aside from containing some nickel. Some may argue, why change a good thing? Well, we're always evolving, aren't we? Technology and materials should too. LM doesn't use 440A stainless steel. They use Duragrade Max, a contemporary powder alloy that is nickel-free and engineered through a proprietary process I hope to see in person one day. This includes controlled atmosphere heat treatment and precision hardening to enhance microstructure integrity and reduce microfractures in the cutting edge. What I noticed was not only the difference in the size and shape of the blade, but also the sharpness of the cutting edge. The direction of the striations in the face of the alloy, accounting for the difference between manual finishing versus robotic finishing. This instrument is the thinnest and most uniform I've observed microscopically. A more narrow profile allows for less tissue distension with deep insertion. Less bulk means easier adaptation and insertion. After seeing these details up close, it's clear that this process truly impacts performance and integrity over time.